everyone, Deborah here, also known as Dubich42. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of My Take. My thoughts on things that are going on and my thoughts on just certain specific topics. Uh, today's My Take is going to be about, well, the women's marches and some people's reactions to them. Of course, after the inauguration, in case you didn't notice, uh, Trump's inauguration, there was a set of marches set up for basically women's marches for women's rights and different things. And they were held all over the country. Very successful, very popular. Uh, even the one in Washington, D.C. was much more widely attended than the inauguration itself, despite what certain spin people and alternative truth people try to say. But you know what? I did not go to the marches. Uh, my closest one would have been in Greenville, South Carolina. I couldn't go. I had other things I had to do. But that's okay. I was glad they marched and the marches were predominantly peaceful. Um, you know, some hollering, some sign waving, um, marching, and just trying to say, hey, we're here. This is what we want. This is what we're thinking about. And that's all good. Because in this country, we do have the right to peacefully assemble. We also have the right to criticize the government when we want to and to criticize the president. Gasp, I know. I'm only bringing all this up because there are some people that I know who some were friends, some weren't, who are just having really awful reactions about these marches and about what's been going on. They say, well, I don't know what they're marching for. You know, we as women have it better than we've had it ever and all this stuff. And you know what? That may be true. We have it better than women over a good part of the world. But that doesn't stop us from being able to march and being able to protest if we want to. It's kind of the American way. The Constitution is there for a reason. So is the Bill of Rights. Something that made me want to really speak out about it today um, a short time ago, a little before the inauguration, I was talking to someone at work. Um, she's about my age. She has kids that are mostly grown. I think the youngest is actually in college. Um, and I was talking about the inauguration and how, I wonder how it's going to go. I think it's going to be a disaster. You know, that's just me mouthing off. And she just thought that was awful. And I said, well, she said, well, people shouldn't say things about the, the first lady like that, you know, talking about Melania Trump, talking about how they shouldn't say, they shouldn't bring up her past. I said, well, did you forget about the part where people who are so anti-Obama were calling the Obamas and especially Michelle monkeys and telling her she should go back to the jungle? And she just looked at me because she was one of the people who said that. Something else she said that was very disturbing to me. Now, you know, having differences of opinion and being a moron about what you call people and stuff, eh, you can just kind of move along because words can be painful, but they're not necessarily deadly. We were talking about the protests. Now, there were some violent protests around. People were rioting and stuff. And you know what? If people are rioting and acting a fool, as we say then yeah, they should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law because it's not necessary to break stuff and steal stuff and cause any other kind of damage or hurt people. You can protest peacefully. Seriously, it's been done. But what she said disturbed me. She said if that was her there and they were blocking the road, she said in all seriousness, she was not speaking hyperbolically. She was being serious that she would get out of her truck, because yes, she has a truck, um, get her machete and start mowing people down, just cut them in half and move on. So her answer to people peacefully protesting, albeit inconveniencing you quite a bit because they're blocking the roads, is to just summarily execute them. And when I asked her, I was looking at her funny, she said, what? She said, did you come over here to pick a fight with me? I said, no, I'm just kind of picturing somebody out there murdering people for just being in the way. She said, well, they don't need to be there. Maybe not. Maybe you should you know, get the police there 
and have them arrested if they're actually breaking a law, which they probably were. They're blocking an interstate, but that's neither here nor there. I don't think that it's necessary to mow them down to act as judge, jury, and executioner for someone protesting who wasn't actually hurting anybody. Well, you know, she acted all disgusted that I even thought it was bad that she even said something. And mind you, this is the uh, middle-aged, because I am middle-aged, because she's my age, uh, white Christian woman in the South. So, yeah, I'm kind of afraid of Trump supporters. I'm not a Trump supporter. I also was never an Obama supporter. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican either. Now, I think that the Obamas deserve a hell of a lot more respect than they got. Don't let people try to tell you that, oh, we never said anything about Obama when he was in the office. Yeah, you did. All eight years. And it was nasty stuff. So I, when I see those, when I see the memories pop up about what people have posted back then, I share it. Oh, you said you never said these things? You did. But again, it's not so much just the words. It's what somebody might be called to action to do. This supposedly Christian woman in the South, said that she would get out her machete and start mowing people down because they were in her way, because they were protesting and protesting something that she didn't, you know, agree with the protest. Is that right? Maybe there were just words. Although she acted really offended when I didn't go along with her because I don't. I will call people out. Um, to, to wait. You want to kill somebody? You know, you hate somebody. Isn't hate a strong word for something? I've called people out and, you know, well, you're just picking my words apart. I've heard that before. I do that because, like I said, words mean things. If that's not the word that you really meant to say, say the one you meant to say. The English language is full of stuff. And if English doesn't have it for you, choose something from another language. You can express yourself properly. Now, speaking in hyperbole, that's one thing. I drive to work. You know what? I am not a patient person. I get behind a pack of slow traffic and I'm like, I wish I had phaser cannons, you know, just pew, 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 zap people away or whatever. But that is speaking in hyperbole, like Wile E. Coyote chasing the roadrunner. Did he really order stuff from Acme and have anvils fall on his head? No, it's a cartoon. So I speak in terms of cartoon violence, stuff that doesn't really actually hurt anybody. It's fun to say, and you know you just deal with it and you move on and your day's better afterwards because you've got it off your chest. But I never use that kind of speech to really specifically mean chopping people to bits because they were in my way and protesting someone I support. Anyway, what do you think about it? Are you afraid of Trump supporters? Are you a Trump supporter? If you are, tell me. Tell me why I'm wrong to be disturbed by what people are saying and doing for that matter. Please like, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, that's been my take. See you next time.